Sean Strickland recently won uh, the title against Izzy, and he was talking about how like his wife came and like changed his life. Like I just always find it interesting how like a woman can come in and like completely shift your norms. A woman is very important, bro. Like especially when you got a good one in your life. Like when you have somebody that is like a soldier, like he's gonna fight your battles, he's gonna help you to get to the battle. It's gonna be regardless no matter what. And sometimes you get lucky with a good one, or sometimes you get not so lucky with a piece of shit. It goes vice versa. It goes for men too. Men can be a piece, like, you know. Yeah, of course. They need to need to find the right one too. But I mean, we got three kids. We've been I met him in fourth grade. What, bro? Yeah. Whoa, that's like a that's like a fucking fairy tale. It, yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's and both like, of you in Ecuador? Ecuador, yeah. When I moved from the from from, from this small town I used to live to the big city. I went, so my dad brought us to the big city once my sister was right before she uh, graduated high school so she can go to a better college, find a good job because you don't want to stay forever in these tiny towns because there's not too much to do. Yeah. There's not too many opportunities. There's, the education is a lower level. So my father was like, you know, good father, good plan. Once my oldest one is about to go to college, we all moved to the city and they can, since I was the youngest one, I probably get the most out of it because I moved to a big city in fourth grade. That's so I learned spicy. English, um, you know, better quality of teachers, better everything. Then my brother was older, I'm the youngest one. He had like two years left on, on high school and then he went to college, but in the city. And then I got to meet my wife in this school, like in the city. And did you like? Did you guys maintain a connection for a long time, or just like on and off? Like we we stayed in the same school until two years before uh, high school was over because I got kicked out. But before that, what you get kicked out? Fighting, oh, lighting oh things God. on fire, smoking in the parking lot. Did, did you? So this is funny. I had Nate on the podcast, Nate Diaz, and he was talking about just like grew up and fighting. Like, how did you get introduced? And I we'll talk more about the family dynamics as well. But how did you get introduced to fighting, bro? I. I'm a professional street fighter. I was fighting since I could Professional street fighter. I have mem my last memories. Until I can remember, I was fighting kids on the street. Just for... But not bigger guys. Like, not like guys like me. No, no bodybuilders. Yeah. But, like, when I was a kid, I was fighting... Other let's kids. See, let's see a homeless kid. We play soccer on the street. Something goes wrong. Fuck you. Boom. And that was, like, normal. If I have a problem with anybody, that's how we solve it. Oh, you don't like me? Fuck you. Let's fight. I was playing soccer. I kicked somebody... I did something like, you know, I, I earned a yellow car. The guy said, fuck you. My first reaction is punch him in the face. I just love to fight. And then when I was getting older, I was in clubs. I would just, you know, somebody would bong me. And if they don't give me the right energy or say sorry, I would just like, boom. It's because nowadays it's like people are so quick to pull weapons and shit. It's different now. Yeah, but I have the same energy. I, will, I don't fuck with nobody. But you give me a tiny reason I'm going to punch in the face. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, but if you don't fuck with nobody and you don't bring that energy yeah. that you want to prove yourself, everybody will just be cool to you. You yeah. know how there's, there's people that are looking for something? Oh, yeah. Those ones, you just punch them in the face. Straight <laughs> right in the mouth. Who wins the street fight, me or you? I kill you. <laughs> I swear to God, I kill you. How much you weigh? 155 right now. How would you kill me? Bro, I would. Like, what, like, what, what, what I'm saying, like, what, what move? Yeah, uh, check what this you, out. Yeah, go ahead. If you don't grab me, and throw me to so a wall. So if I don't get my hands on you? No, but you, I will grab on you too. But okay. if you, the only way I feel you will beat me if, if you f grab me yeah. and you hit my head with the wall and then if, you go, if I get KO because if you don't knock me out, I'm going to keep coming. And cardio-wise, yeah. you will, you don't know, I'm an animal, dude. I don't I believe stop. You. I mean, I'm based I, on I what run 13 miles every Sunday. I'm a real runner. Turn my ass off. I'm healthy. So my, you know, like in Street Fighter, the health, even if you start punching me and hurting me, my health won't leave me too quick. You yeah. will have to like really knock me out you early. You have to be cold. If not, dude, you're f I'm going to yeah. take your eyes out of your face. <laughs> it's a street fight, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're not talking about like referee. No, no, no. no oh, no. I'm fucking, It's to the death. That's I'm the... opening your guts and fucking <laughs> playing with them. I have that I have that on me, I swear to God. I love it. I but like I like you, you, you're big. Dude. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie though. You when you started talking about the mushrooms and like your training and your diet, I was like, this guy, it's probably I've been in the other side, dude. I know all those warriors. Fuck. I saw them. I smoked DMT too, so Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh my you god. Remember? Yes. 
is the best thing ever. Dude. Have you have you ever done uh, yahe or like ayahuasca? No, and I'm f-ing dying to do it. You I'm just you... waiting for the right moment. Yeah, you want to do it. You want to do it in a way that's you know, kind of. It's just a little, maybe more ceremonial. Oh, a thousand. But when I yeah. smoked DMT, it wasn't like for fun. We sit down. Yeah. We set up uh, intention. What was the reason you're doing it? What would you like to fix? And you just speak your thoughts. And it's all personal friends, like just yeah, people that love you. And they're like, they're not there to do drugs. It's not a, a line of cocaine. I never did cocaine in my life. Probably never will. Yeah. It's because you just go by, you see, who does cocaine? They're f- who smoke the emotion they're happy it's going that side that was yeah. my my welcome to this world when i when when i was like my friends right my circle of friends once they do they were like just doing cocaine and just looking forward to cocaine and they weren't like looking for chicks or looking for have fun they just want to do cocaine then yeah. the stoners you know they're having fun they're eating some mushrooms they're like oh they're seeing some colors i'm like i don't want to be a f- yeah they i don't want like, to suck I'm gonna go have fun. Yeah, they're there. doing anything for that shit. They're like crazy. Addicted. Yeah, and First. I've been there. I saw friends coming in and out of rehab daily basis. And I was like, just what's the point? If you know, I already know that thing is bad. Why? Why am I gonna do? And it? it's a, it's a, it's like a temporary, like performance enhancer that doesn't actually enhance your performance. It just makes you feel like you're the shit, right? Yeah, and it's actually worse for your body and for you and everything you do. Obviously, like it, it's very clear how how defined you are and like what you want to do and put in your body because it's all about function. Bro, a, a thousand percent. Everything, if you go to my house and you open my my kitchen, my whatever the food is, the, the, the fridge, it's like raw milk, meat, pounds of meat. Damn, you're deer, doing it for So what's elk. your, what it, damn, you eat good. Oh yeah. Do you say, do you, do you have like a regimen as far as like your diet goes or your supplements? Like, I'm, I'm not a, I, I'm not too much in. I don't have any supplements at all. It's all no food. pills, no pills. Holy shit! Just the fact that a pill is on a pill, I don't want it on myself. Damn, you're that really a, that deep. Oh uh, yeah, that's I eat major meat. Respect. Did I eat meat, eggs, raw butter? Like only like if I'm gonna drink a juice, it's not in a bottle. Gotta be like pressed in that moment. Damn, I have my own my juicer machine at home. I use my own juice. Like I do go to the store and get a, a green juice, but I go and I go to the bar. I'm like, I want this mix of veggies with apple. So you, so you've been eating like this for how long? You said like a little over ten years, dude. And I, I that people don't. I'm like people. Sometimes people see at me and they're like, dude, you're doing a sacrifice. I'm like, no, you don't. You mean you're giving up like these good things? Yeah, like I'm be. giving up these Twix, sneakers, candy, yeah, yeah. sugar, bullshit. I'm like, you. Just grab a handful, and you feel like a piece of shit. You feel depressed. Those, that that food will bring you. It will drag you down because yeah. the moment you you blow it and your stomach goes like, ah, oh. it's almost a similar feeling when you get paranoid on this. Like you're like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, you know what's interesting? How people don't understand. I think literally most people don't realize how much better they can feel because they they just that's what they know and they just know that to be normal and they don't know that there's so much actually. It's like more. doing drugs. Dude. 